Robert Rosenblum was someone that wanted to make a difference. It's a murder case that state police chief Pete Cassettis has never let go of. The murder of a fellow officer who he's only read about. He made a traffic stop on Nine Mile Hill and he was executed. Officer Robert Rosenblum was shot to death during a traffic stop on I-40 west of Albuquerque in 1971. His picture hangs today in the Albuquerque State Police Office named after him, an office Cassettis spent the early part of his career in. The last photograph I saw of him was in the case file of him in a state police uniform, Larry, on the side of the road at night in the weeds, and that stuck with me. The three men accused of killing Rosenblum were part of a black militant group. They were transporting guns and bombs to the south at the time. After the killing, they hijacked a passenger jet at the Sunport and flew to Cuba, where Castro was welcoming what he considered political refugees. Only one of the three men, Charlie Hill, is alive today. Fifteen years ago, News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker took on the case. Will they ever come back to New, to New Mexico to face justice? Larry tracked down Hill in Cuba. He admitted killing Robert Rosenblum. I asked him, do you feel remorseful about it? He says, no. He got what he deserved. Chilling. Since then, no one's heard from Charlie Hill, but Chief Cassettis wants that to change now. We're pressing. President Obama to do the right thing. In an interview with Larry Barker today, Chief Cassettis told News 13 he's going after Hill. Chief, what do you want? I want Mr. Hill to be brought back to New Mexico. I want him to face a court. I want justice. Governor Susana Martinez drafted this letter to the Secretary of State today, asking for the Obama administration to press for Hill's return. When you look at this picture, it's Charlie Hill in Cuba these days. What goes to your mind? That uh, picture infuriates me, uh, and it's a, a, a it, it's a driving force with why the state police won't um, uh, let this go. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13.